Hey guys, welcome back to B-Barb's Stat and Fact. I'm your host, Brian Barbeau. I do stats and facts about my four favorite sports teams. Today is called What a Breezy Night. And let me tell you what a breezy night it was. I wrote down some notes um, just to keep my thoughts in order for this time around. What a breezy night. Because the Colts obliterated, or the Saints obliterated the Colts 34 to 7 on Monday Night Football in a game in which I attended and vacation down there with my three buddies, Trevor, Robert, Carla, Trevor, and Robert are brothers. I'm, they're my longtime friends. We've known each other since we were little kids. Carla is Trevor's fiance. She's a cool chick. Um, a game which saw Drew Brees throw for 29 of 30, 370 yards, four touchdowns, and I'll tell you why that's significant. My buddy Trevor had been to four prior, uh, uh, same games prior to this game. He witnessed three wins. Uh, three of them on the road. Uh, New York, Buffalo, and Carolina. The other in the Dome. And a loss 16-12. to 12. Um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why this is significant. In those four games he attended, Drew Brees, who is the greatest New Orleans Saints quarterback of all time, did not throw one touchdown pass. No hyperbole. Did not throw one touchdown pass. What are the odds of that? I bet you Drew and all those times he all those times uh, Drew, like he tended to watch Drew Brees. I bet you Drew Brees tried to spot him up in the uh, in the standings. Where is he? He's coming. Yeah, I'm not throwing a touchdown pass for him today. But they won three of four, so he comes in with a three and one record, about to be four and one. So, um, yeah, Colts enter the game with on a three game losing streak. The New Orleans Saints come off a heartbreaking loss, 48-46, to in a shootout with the eventual NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers. Uh, so they're a pretty pissed off team. The Colts are reeling. Um, Andrew Luck, who was our franchise quarterback and one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL prior to the season, just dropped the bombshell that he's retiring. Thanks a lot, buddy. We're getting ready to contend for another Super Bowl, and then you pull that nonsense. Basically, his body just gave out, man. Just could not play anymore. Um, last season, he got us back in the playoffs with a 10 6 record, uh, which we were 9 1 down the stretch. Lost to the Kansas City Chiefs, and who were the, would eventually be the eventual Super Bowl champions this season. Um, had a great year, came back, uh, proved that he could still play, and then just during the offseason, never really got right and just said, I'm, I'm done. His body just gave out. He had no help, man. He had no help. Uh, he had no offensive line. They did not construct around him properly. He had no offensive line. And the times that he did get hit, he never protected himself. So, anyways, a little special tribute to Andrew Luck. What a career he might have had had he been protected and had they built, properly constructed the team around him. So, all the best to you in retirement. Um, this game takes place on Monday Night Football. In a game in which we attended, like I just mentioned, we, yeah, so this game does, does not start off well for us. Um, Holt's first, first possession, uh, we were forced to punt the ball. It's blocked. Saints take over in our territory. Great start to the game. Thankfully, the Colts hold them to one first down and a Michael Thomas catch. Will Lutz, Will Lutz their, uh, the New Orleans Saints kicker, is forced to kick a 33-yarder, in which he is successful. 3 nothing Saints. Okay, let's get it back on the next drive. Colts' next drive, they pick up two first downs. However, they, the drive stalls as uh, the New Orleans Saints defense forces a high throw from J Jacoby Brissett, our quarterback. And they're forced to butt the ball at the 12-yard line. And then it's just pretty much downhill from there. The Saints march the ball all the way down to the to the, the Colts' 15-yard line, in which Drew Brees, this is foreign to Trevor, throws a touchdown pass to Michael Thomas. Of course, when he throws a touchdown pass, it's against my team. How fitting. 10 nothing Saints. Um, Colts for but the ball again. Uh, they march down the field all the way to the 21-yard line. Drew Brees drops back. He finds Traquan Smith. For a second touchdown pass of the game, and I'll tell you why this is significant. 
So Drew Brees needed two touchdown passes to tie Peyton Manning for most touchdown passes of all time. He needed three to break him. Oh, believe me, he broke. He tied the record and then subsequently broke him. Against my team. So, um, Saints get the ball back again. March the way all the way down the field. Drew Brees escapes the pocket, rushes out to his right, finds Traquan Smith for another touchdown pass, and it's 24 0. My face is redder than a cherry. Oh, but oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. There's laundry on the field. There's yellow laundry on the field. I'm referring to the flag. Apparently, Traquan Smith had pushed off one of our defenders. I thought it was a bogus call. It was not it was not pass interference whatsoever, but they called it back. Saints settle with a field goal. They're up 20 to nothing. I need more beer. And yeah, I'm pretty much half in the bag in this game, anyways. To add insult to injury, you're never gonna believe what the halftime show entailed. The Super Bowl winning team. The Super Bowl winning team which beat my team in the Super Bowl. No, nope, gotta go get more beer. Gotta go get more beer. I'm done. No, 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 no. O'Brien won't use to. No, gonna go get more beer. That's it. Gonna go get more beer. So this is my facial reaction at halftime. Yeah. And then you got Buddy from behind me, who's a, who's a New Orleans Saints fan. He's got that Cajun accent. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Come on. Come on, Peyton. Come on. Come on. Put Teddy in the game. It's 20 to nothing. 20 to nothing. Eventually, be th it would be 34 to nothing. It's 34 to nothing. It's 34 to nothing now. Oh, by the way, on the, on the first drive of the second half, Drew Brees sets a NFL history by dropping back from the five-yard line. And he finds Josh Hill for his third touchdown pass of the game. Michael Thomas is open already! Hey, boy, come get with the 13 wide open. Get Trey Quan out of his way! He's wide open, Drew. Throw the goddamn fade route. Throw the fade route. And then his next pass goes for 5-4-1 to the uh, utility player. Yeah, there's a, apparently there's a utility player called uh, Taysom Hill. He plays quarterback. He runs the ball. He plays special teams. He just does it all. Apparently he throws the ball, too, pretty well. Four touchdown passes. This buddy behind me is yelling out, take out Drew, man. Put, take Drew out of the game. Put Teddy Bridgewater in. Really? Guy is 29 of 30, 307 yards. Four touchdown passes. You want to put in Teddy Bridgewater? What is wrong with you, man? That guy was annoying. I'm not going to lie. That guy was annoying. Um, but thankfully, though, the Colts, there is some silver lining as we don't get shut out. Uh, Jordan Wilkins, our running back, uh, runs it in from one yard out. And that was one of my YouTube shorts, as well as a 22-year pass to Dontrell Inman. 34 to 7. Um, yeah, but I'm going to take time for, uh, for a minute to actually um, commence uh, Drew Brees' um, touchdown record. Um, pretty fascinating stuff. I mean, I, unfortunately, I, it had to be against my team. Uh, it was a fun game. I was pissed off, but at the same time, and at the end of the game, we all we shook hands, Trevor and I, and I had to commence how great that was to, to, to witness that, you know. I just wish it wasn't against my team. Four touchdown passes. He eclipsed Peyton Manning all-time for touchdown passes um, uh, overall with 541. Um, yeah. Uh, I was. We were in the same building as uh, Steve Young. Um Susie Colbert, uh, Booker McFarland, who used to be, you know, Indianapolis Colts, Booker McFarland. Yeah, a lot of legends. Randy Moss in the building. Great, great, great atmosphere, man. Great 
stadium, great dome. It's a huge dome. We're 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 sitting up we're sitting up all the all the way up. Um and you're looking down below. It's just that that dome is massive, it's huge. Same fans going, who that, who that, who that, who that, who that, who that? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, it was a great atmosphere, great game. Well, not it wasn't a great game for me because we lost big time. Uh, Michael Thomas just tore apart the Colts. 12 receptions, 128 yards, and a touchdown. So, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did producing it. I will be posting another video in the foreseeable future. Yes, I will be posting more YouTube shorts as it pertains to my next video. So, anyway, um, have a good day. Okay. Bye. Colts lose 34 to 7. 34 to 7. At least sack Drew Brees once. No, couldn't do that. Anyway, have a good one. Oh, oh fuck.